Good morning, Creekside Otters. Happy Monday and welcome back. Today is Monday, January 31st, 2022. I hope you all had a great weekend and enjoyed the beautiful weather. Miss Allison, how was your weekend? It was fun, but a little exhausting because I had soccer games and basketball games all weekend. How about you, Miss Motley? Mine was great. I enjoyed the sunshine, saw some former students playing basketball as well, and enjoyed the football on Sunday. Go Bengals, go Rams. That sounds like a great time. Um, Miss Motley, is your shirt on backwards? Yes, duh, today's National Backwards Day, didn't you know? Uh, no way, I guess I need to do a few backward things today. Um, hmm, I'll have to get on that. Definitely. Let's get started with our morning check-in. Miss Allison, how are you feeling this morning? I am in the blue zone. Um, I'm feeling tired because of all the activities I had this weekend. What about you, Miss Motley? I get that, definitely. Um, I think I'm in the green zone today. I'm feeling well rested and I am ready for a great day. That is awesome. I hope you are all in the green zone today too. Make it a great day, otters. Good morning, Creekside Otters. For this morning's mindful moment, we are going to practice object awareness. So let's get our mindful bodies ready. I want you to sit comfortably in your chair with your feet flat on the ground. And for this mindfulness exercise, I need you to find a small object, something at your desk, maybe a pencil or an eraser or a paper clip, something small that you can fit in the palm of your hand. For this activity, I'm going to be using a stone. So I want you to place your object in the palm of your hand and if you want, you can close your palm or close your hand like this or put your other hand over the top. So go ahead with your object in your hand, close your eyes and lower your head. Take a nice big deep breath. I want you to really notice how the object feels in your hand. How does it feel to touch it with your fingers? Is it heavy? Is it light? What does the texture feel like? Is it smooth? Is it rough? What's the shape? Is it round? Is it square? Spend a few moments placing your full attention on this experience. Really place your attention on the object in the palm of your hand. Is your object warm? Is it cool to the touch? Place your full attention on the object in the palm of your hand. Let's take a few nice big deep breaths. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. When you're ready, go ahead and open your eyes. Remember, mindfulness is all about focusing your attention on the present moment without judgment. This is a great activity to do if 
you don't really like doing the deep breathing exercises, sometimes that really helps and sometimes it doesn't really work. So this is a great mindfulness activity to do if you're not really into the deep breathing activities that I've done in the past. I hope you enjoyed this morning's mindful moment. Have a great day, otters. My name is Lou. My name is Emma. My name is Kayla. My name is Ryan. My name is Kian. My name is Sophie. My name is Eleanor. And my name is Lynn Fay. We are here to teach you all about the Lunar New Year. Lunar New Year, or Chinese New Year, is a very exciting holiday that is celebrated by people all around the world. In either January or February, Chinese New Year begins. The exact date depends on the cycle of the moon or the lunar calendar, and this holiday lasts 15 full days. This important date of the Chinese calendar has been ce celebrated for centuries. During the festivities, ancestors are honored and traditional ceremonies are held where people get together and welcome the new year with customs that bring good luck, good fortune, wealth, prosperity, and happiness. During Chinese New Year, family and friends often give, give little children red envelopes with money inside. Food is another important part of the Chinese New Year celebration. Families come together and eat large meals with traditional Chinese food. Fireworks light up in, in, up to the nice sky and people sing and do a lion dance and dragon dance in the streets. These dances are believed to bring good luck. The dragon dance happens with a huge dragon made of paper, silk, and bamboo held up by a man dancing and guiding it around. Toward the end of the 15 days, people hang up brightly colored lanterns in their homes and carry them out into the streets. Chinese New Year is certainly a fun and special holiday for all who celebrate it. We hope you enjoy this video that shows how Lunar New Year is celebrated. Happy Lunar New Year! People celebrate Lunar New Year in China and all over the world. The celebration lasts for 15 days in January or February. What are some things people do to get ready for the New Year? First, people get haircuts and new clothes. That gives them a fresh start for the New Year. Then, families clean the house. They make sure to sweep out all the old dust. Families have huge feasts. Everyone sits at a big round table and shares every dish. They use chopsticks to eat their food. At this feast, people eat lettuce for wealth, duck for happiness, long noodles for a long life, and cookies as a special treat. People visit friends and family. They give each other oranges for good luck. There are lots of red decorations for Lunar New Year. In China, red is the color of happiness. Here are some lion dancers. They dance and run and do martial arts. 
Now it's time to go to the parade. At the end of the parade, there is a big dragon puppet. It takes a lot of people to hold this dragon up. Sometimes, as many as 50 people are holding it. When the dragon comes by, lots of firecrackers go off. That means Lunar New Year is here at last.